Hold up, this wasn't here before. Things don't just disappear into thin air like that. Maybe we can check the clues that might tell us how it disappeared. Get those magnifying glasses out, because here are the 20 unsolved historical mysteries that cannot be explained. 20. Vanished Village First up on the list is rather a large object to just be erased out of existence. Actually, it's a bunch of objects, a village to be specific. A perplexing occurrence occurred in a tiny Inuit town in Canada in 1930 that continues to perplex historians and investigators to this day. Anjakuni Lake, tucked beside the Kazan River in the frigid regions of northern Canada, was the backdrop for this conundrum. In November, a fur trapper called Joe LaBelle arrived in the town to find it totally empty. There was no one to be seen, yet indications of daily life could be found everywhere. Food, clothing, guns, and even half-cooked dinners. LaBelle's finding became legend among Canadian mystery circles. The Huskies, which are generally raucous around guests, were spooky and weird in their departure. Despite the RCMP's probe, no convincing explanation emerged. LaBelle's story described no evidence of hardship, no smoke from fireplaces, and well-stocked households. To add to the ominous atmosphere, a fire was built but allowed to smolder, and sled dogs were discovered lifeless from famine. The villagers had simply disappeared, leaving a terrifying emptiness in their wake. The case is still unresolved leading historians and observers to conjecture ideas and theories. Was it an unexpected and inexplicable occurrence? Were supernatural powers at work? Whatever the reality is, the disappearance of the Anjakuni Hamlet in 1930 remains one of Canada's biggest mysteries, recalling the mysterious disappearance of the Roanoke Colony. 19. Voynich Manuscript Next up, a mysterious document that's supposed to be a manual for magical alchemy. But before that, do you think you whimsy into those like and subscribe buttons if you're liking the video so far? It encourages the channel to make more videos like this. Done. Time to read that document. For generations, students and researchers have been attracted by the Voynich Manuscript, a confusing and intriguing document of unknown provenance. This manuscript, named after Wilfred Voynich, the book merchant who found it in 1912, is written in an illegible script and embellished with exquisite pictures. The Voynich Manuscript, which is housed in Yale University's Beanek Rare Book and Manuscript Library, dates from the 15th century. The manuscript's pages are made of vellum and measure 23.5 by 16.2 centimeters. It has 240 pages, its material is organized into parts, each focusing on a different theme, such as botany, astronomy, or biology. The odd and unrecognizable graphics featuring unknown vegetation, astrological charts, and weird human forms set it distinct. The script of the text is distinct, with no other known work utilizing a comparable language. Attempts to interpret the writing have produced no relevant findings, and despite various claims that it has been solved, the Voynich manuscript remains a mystery. Various ideas exist to explain its origins and function. Some believe it is a sophisticated prank, while others believe it is a coded text containing secret wisdom. The notion that it is a lost language or an encrypted alchemical treatise adds to its enigma. Many notable cryptographers, Linguists and historians have attempted to crack the code throughout the years, but none have been decisively successful. Despite its enigmatic character, the text continues to attract and pique people's interest. Yale University made high-resolution scans of the book accessible for free in 2019, allowing normal people and specialists across the world to scrutinize its nuances. Who knows, this might serve as a missing link to ancient alchemy one day. 18. Lady Dies Mummification Mummies, by default, are full of mysteries. What makes this next entry way more mysterious than others is that it's really well preserved. Consider discovering a buried treasure that exposes the mysteries of an ancient world. That's exactly what occurred in China's Hunan province in 1971 
when workmen building an air raid shelter in Moandu Hill discovered the tomb of Sin Zhuai, popularly known as Lady Day. She was the Marquise of Dai during the Western Han Dynasty, which ruled over China for almost 2,000 years. This amazing finding not only shed light on her opulent lifestyle, but also brought to light a compelling riddle that experts are still trying to solve. Sin Zhui's tomb was an archaeological treasure trove. Hundreds of rare items and papers were discovered beside her wonderfully preserved remains, offering a unique view of life during China's Han Dynasty. Experts were surprised by her body's amazing preservation, while other civilizations' dry mummies disintegrated over time. Xin Zhui's skin remained soft, her hair and eyelashes stayed intact, and her blood still flowed in her veins. This extraordinary preservation provoked controversy among academics. The position of her tomb, deep inside the hill, was critical in preserving the cold temperatures essential for preservation. Her securely wrapped body, buried under layers of silk, slowed decomposition even further. The tomb's design was a clever barrier against deterioration, coated with thick lacquer and covered by charcoal, clay, and dirt. The autopsy of Sin Zhui provided insight into her life and end. The presence of melon seeds in her stomach indicated that she died in the summer, soon after eating. While she had parasite infections, blood clots, back difficulties, and liver illness, her luxurious lifestyle was most likely the cause of her end. She died of heart illness and maybe cardiac arrest as a result of intense pain induced by a gallstone. Another mystery was hidden in the crimson fluid in which Sin Zhui's corpse was submerged. Was it a natural occurrence or a preservation technique? While specialists disagree, it is obvious that Sin Zhui's well-preserved status continues to pique the interest of scientists. She remains today as an astounding discovery for the world of history and archaeology. 17. 1916 Traub Motorcycle Our next mystery is a bit recent, but nonetheless, still a mind-boggler. Behold the riddle that is the 1916 Traub, a real enigma cloaked in the shadows of history. This isn't your average bespoke design. It's a genuine, one-of-one -one masterpiece that continues to perplex wits and fascinate hearts. This handcrafted masterpiece, created by unknown hands in 1916, was discovered in 1968, hidden in a bricked-up wall in a Chicago suburb. Its age was determined by the antique components it displayed, which included a Schubler carburetor, a Bosch Magneto, a Troxel jumbo seat, and period wheel rims. Beyond these shards, the origins of the bike remain a mystery, a conundrum that time has yet to solve. Aside from its enigmatic past, what distinguishes the Traub is that it still runs with the elegance of a bygone age, a one-of-a-kind rear brake system with an extraordinary single-cam slash twin brake combination exemplifies a design that seemed unrivaled at the time. A hand lever placed near the gas tank adds to the mystery by perhaps being the first appearance of a three-speed gearbox on an American motorbike. That being said, the bike is said to still raise more questions than answers to this day. 16. Pascagoula UFO Of course, no mystery list is complete without aliens. Back in the 1970s, the Pascagoula, Mississippi, UFO and alien abduction story became a phenomenon that seared itself into the worldwide mind. Now, 45 years later, a new chapter is being written as a hitherto silent spectator steps forward, offering her own story of the incredible meeting. Calvin Parker and the late Charles Hickson recalled their incredible incident on October 11, 1973, while fishing on the Pascagoula River. They were carried into a spaceship, investigated, and then returned to Earth. This widely publicized, spine-chilling experience has imbued Pascagoula with mystery, earning it the moniker, that UFO encounter, real original. In the current days, Maria Blair, who was waiting by the riverside that night, has chosen to reveal her long-kept secret. Maria witnessed an ethereal sight while her husband Jerry Blair drifted asleep a blue light flashing through the heavens in a fascinating dance. 
This brightness appeared to be directly related to the location where Parker and Hickson were supposedly taken, unbeknownst to her at the time. Maria explains, you're looking up at the sky, looking at stars. That's when I saw it rise up in the sky. She disregarded it at first as an aircraft or helicopter, oblivious to the cosmic importance she was experiencing. The light was visible for around 30 minutes, gently drifting over the skies until disappearing. Then there was a twist that left her perplexed. A loud splash broke the silence, followed by waves on the water surface. She strained her eyes downward, thinking she saw a person drowned in the river's depths. She stayed silent about her strange observation, even after learning about Parker and Hickson's stories. Maria chose to break her silence decades later, motivated by a desire to validate their story. Their emotional interaction with Calvin Parker at the site of the alleged occurrence brought a bittersweet conclusion to a 45-year-old secret. This revelation provided both parties with a feeling of finality, soothing the lingering suspicion and uncertainties. With three people now giving their accounts of the Pascagoula UFO, the event remains a fascinating page in history. Parker, who has written a book on his experience, is adamant that we are not alone. As preparations to present a historical plaque gain traction, it appears that this chapter is closing, and maybe someday, we'll look back on this and say they were right all along. 15. Oak Island Mystery Now this is a mystery that has baffled people for hundreds of years. The Oak Island Mystery, a tale steeped in intrigue and mystique, has captivated the minds of treasure hunters and aficionados alike for almost two centuries. The drama began in 2006, when the Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty, purchased a 50% share in the firm that owns Oak Island, joining the ranks of those who have doggedly attempted to find the hidden riches supposed to dwell inside its confines for over 220 years. Oak Island is one of the 300-plus islands in Mahome Bay, which is located on the southern coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. For years, this 140-acre woodland expanse has spawned stories and myths hinting at a tremendous treasure hidden under its surface. Theories abound surrounding the enigmatic bounty's origins, ranging from infamous pirates such as Captain Kidd and Edward Blackbeard, teach the wealth to secret groups such as the Freemasons and Knights Templar, even attributing it to philosopher Francis Bacon. Despite these suspicions, the wealth has escaped everybody and is well buried. Oak Island's attraction has survived for decades. Because it was the only site with red oak trees, its discovery was fraught with mystery. However, black ant infestations led to the domination of spruce trees and bushes over time. An early excavation uncovered a stone engraved with a mysterious phrase, hinting at wealth lying underneath. There are legends of frightening lights and hauntings, as well as the prophecy that no treasure will be disclosed until seven lives have been lost in the search. Six lives have been lost thus far. The history of Oak Island begins in 1762 to 1765, when the property was surveyed into 32 four-acre lots. The name Oak Island had previously been in use before then. Daniel McInnes and his pals discovered the legendary Money Pit, the main center of the treasure search, circa 1795. Their search uncovered oak logs, flagstones, and wooden platforms spaced at three-meter intervals, kicking off the world's most extensive and costly treasure hunt. Ownership of the island fluctuated over time, with former slave Samuel Ball owning nine parcels. From shovels and picks to steam pumps and high-tech gadgets, the treasure search developed. Despite progress, floods and cave-ins occurred, prompting many to quit their search. The mystery of Oak Island drew notable personalities, including President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin's interests in the old gold salvage and wrecking company sparked his interest, prompting him to visit Oak Island before taking office. Recent initiatives, such as the Curse of Oak Island series, document progress. The discovery of pre-money pit buildings, 16th century gemstone brooches, 14th century lead crosses, and Spanish money revived the excitement. As the quest continues, 
Oak Island's mystique lingers, its mysteries awaiting those willing to comprehend its cryptic depths. 14. Saddle Ridge Horde Not into the cryptic side of things. Well, what about the rich side of this? Our next entry is about the root of all evil. Money. The Saddle Ridge Horde, a stunning find of 1,427 gold coins surfaced from California's gold country in 2013. The hoard was discovered on private land and had a face value of $27,980, but its estimated value was $10 million. From 1847 until 1894, the hoard had $27,460 in $20 coins, $500 in $10 coins, and $20 in $5 coins. This is the largest known stockpile of buried gold coins discovered in the United States. The narrative of the treasure's finding is interesting. While walking their dog on their property, John and Mary, the couple who discovered the cache, discovered a rusted metal container. The container, which had been embedded in the earth, was heavier than expected and held a solitary gold coin. Further investigation revealed eight cans full with coins buried behind a pile of wood. The coins were examined and preserved by specialists from Kagan's and a professional coin grading service, who discovered that several were in mint condition and might be worth up to $1 million apiece. The provenance of the riches has stirred speculation. Theories ranged from links to a 1901 San Francisco mint robbery to hidden stashes of notable characters such as Jesse James and Black Bart. However, the most popular explanation holds that the monies were buried for security by an unknown individual rather than trusting institutions. John and Mary, the finders, elected to give to local charity, pay off personal debts, and keep certain coins as family treasures. Treasure hunters beware of this hoard, because the one piece is real. 13. Wow! Signal Dabbling into the extraterrestrial side of things once more, we've got an infamous transmission that has turned millions of people into believers. The WOW signal is a defining milestone in the quest for alien intelligence. On August 15, 1977, while working on the SETI project at Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope, Astronomer Jerry R. Emmon discovered a loud radio signal lasting 72 seconds. The frequency of the transmission was 1420 mh, which corresponded to the hydrogen line, which is sometimes thought of as a potential communication channel for alien civilizations. The signal was 30 times stronger than the telescope's background noise, which was unusual. Eamon was so taken by the intensity that he circled the printout of the signal and wrote WOW in red ink, giving the phenomena its iconic moniker. Despite extensive efforts to discover the signal, it has never been found. Many theories have been presented to explain the WOW signal, including reflections from space debris or satellites, natural occurrences, and even distant terrestrial radio interference. None of these hypotheses, however, have been proven. Whatever it is, it could be a big sign that they're out there. 12. Cleopatra's Tomb Despite being arguably the most famous ancient Egyptian icon, did you know that no one actually knows where Cleopatra's tomb is? Cleopatra's tomb has captivated the globe for nearly 2,000 years as an enigma. Cleopatra, Egypt's fabled final queen, committed herself in 30 BC after being defeated by Roman Emperor Octavian. Recent media reports suggested that her tomb may have been discovered in Taposiris Magna, a location about 50 kilometers west of Alexandria, where a team led by Kathleen Martinez had dug for 15 years, unearthing Cleopatra-era relics, including coins struck during her reign. Experts, on the other hand, are doubtful. Scholars who specialize in Cleopatra think her tomb is not at Taposiris Magna. Many think Cleopatra was buried at Alexandria, possibly in a region that has since been flooded owing to coastal erosion over the last two millennia. Others believe her tomb was destroyed in antiquity or was lost during contemporary building. Some even believe it was looted a long time ago. While Tapaziris Magnus finds are noteworthy, 
Cleopatra's tomb remains a mystery. Regardless of the conclusion, Taposiris Magna's excavation adds to our understanding of ancient trade, religion, and social dynamics. Infamous Queen of the Nile still remaining unfound is one of the most ironic things, don't you think? 11. Sailing Stones This next one has actually been mostly solved, but it is still just as mind-blogging that nature could work like that. The racetrack playa is an enigma in Death Valley National Park, which is known for its severe circumstances. The park, which spans the California-Nevada border, was founded in 1933 and is home to an incredible phenomenon known as the Sailing Stones. These pebbles, weighing ounces to hundreds of kilos, wander over the desert, leaving strange paths in their wake. The boulders made of dolomite and cyanite the same minerals present in the surrounding mountains, cascade due to erosion, eventually resting on the parched playa. Nonetheless, they manage an incredible horizontal movement on this flat surface, leaving distinct trails behind. Since the early 1900s, scientists have been interested by the enigma of the sailing stones. Theories seeking to explain their perplexing trip exist. Time-lapse photography eventually recorded the movement of the stones in 2014. Rainwater froze into a thin ice layer, which winds pushed on the rocks, causing them to move gradually. To see this natural phenomenon, travel two miles south of the grandstand parking lot. However, the exact placement of the stones fluctuates. Guess Patrick wasn't lying when he claimed he won that snail race with a rock, right? 10. Nazca Lines it should be noted that Incas have a bit of a suspected history with aliens. The Nazca Lines are a series of ancient geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert in southern Peru, and they play into that last statement. These enormous designs, etched into the desert floor, have fascinated archaeologists, historians, and travelers for decades. The lines were created by removing the dark-colored topsoil, revealing the lighter-colored subsoil beneath. The Nazca Lines feature a variety of geometric designs as well as images of creatures, plants, and people. Among other strange things, some of the animal figures include a spider, a monkey, a hummingbird, and a condor. The greatest sculptures are hundreds of meters long, and some of them are as long as 370 meters. The exact purpose and meaning of the Nazca Lines remain a mystery. Scholars believe that they were created by the Nazca culture between 500 BC and 500 CE. Theories suggest that the lines may have served as an astronomical calendar, religious or ritualistic symbols, or markers for underground water sources. But to other unorthodox researchers, the purpose is obvious. They've collectively concluded that this was a giant crop circle that was made in ancient times. Of course, the message is undecipherable thanks to its alien nature, but these UFOs have been doing it since olden times. There's no surprise if it really was them. 9. Stonehenge Now this is a prime suspect for traces of the aliens. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument located in Wiltshire, England. It consists of a circular arrangement of large standing stones, some weighing several tons, set within earthworks. The exact purpose and meaning of Stonehenge have long fascinated researchers and continue to be subjects of speculation, mostly aliens. Stonehenge was erected and refined somewhere between 3000 and 1600 BC, a period of around 1,500 years, according to archaeological research. The most iconic part of Stonehenge is the outer circle of gigantic stones called sarsens, some of which rise as tall as 9 meters. The inner circle is made up of smaller blue stones that are thought to have been carried from Wales and have been altered several times during the site's history. Stonehenge is believed to have had ceremonial and astronomical functions. It aligns with the movements of the sun, particularly during the solstices, suggesting that it was used for religious or astronomical observations. That can only mean one thing. How could the ancient people know about space? Well, that points out to the aliens. It was suspected that Stonehenge was supposed to be a contact site for the visitors from beyond this planet, but we'll never really know. 8. Tunguska Event Better duck, 
This one's big. The Tunguska event, a massive explosion that happened on June 30, 1908, is one of the most mysterious cosmic events. An unexplained explosion devastated around 2,150 square kilometers of woodland in the remote Siberian area of Tunguska, Russia. The explosion, which was comparable to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT, created a shockwave that circled the Earth twice. Despite the fact that no human doom was reported owing to the event's distant location, it had a significant impact on the surrounding ecosystem. While seismic monitors throughout the world registered atmospheric disturbances, trees were burnt and flattened. Scientists have long debated the actual source of the explosion, with suggestions ranging from a comet or asteroid strike to a small black hole. The most commonly accepted opinion is that the event was triggered by a mid-air explosion of a tiny asteroid or comet. It's kinda concerning to consider one moment, you're just minding your own business, then boom. This happens. 7. Phaistos Disc Moving on, this next doohickey on the list is one of those ancient, ominous artifacts. The Phaistos Disc, a fascinating antique relic, was discovered in 1908 in the ancient city of Phaistos on the Greek island of Crete. The purpose and meaning of the disc, which was made of burnt clay circa 1700 BC, remain a mystery to academics. It is around 16 centimeters in diameter and one centimeter thick, with spiral patterned lettering on both sides. The 242 symbols on the disc are unique and have yet to be fully decoded. However, they resemble hieroglyphs and other writings from the ancient Mediterranean region. The disc's cryptic character has spawned a variety of ideas regarding its origin and function, including that it was a religious item, an early form of writing, or even a sophisticated prank. Despite much inquiry and examination, the exact meaning of the Phaistos disc has remained a mystery. Its enigmatic symbols continue to fascinate scholars, and its finding in a Bronze Age archaeological environment only adds to the mystery one, basically, since we don't know what it really is for. All we can do is gawk at its shiny glory. 6. MV Joita there are a plethora of these missing people from their vessels, and this one is just one of several that remains unsolved. The MV Joita, an American-built commerce vessel, inexplicably vanished in the South Pacific Ocean under strange circumstances. The ship set off from Samoa towards the Toklau Islands on October 3, 1955, but it never arrived. On October 13, 10 days later, the ship was discovered adrift and heavily damaged, roughly 600 kilometers from its intended path. The absence of any staff or passengers on board made this situation even more perplexing. There were no lifeboats and evidence of an attempted distress call. While certain hints pointed to foul play or medical issues, no conclusive explanation emerged. The ship's cargo and valuables were mostly undamaged, adding to the mystery. Despite exhaustive inquiries, the actual narrative of what happened to the MV Joyita remains unknown. The loss of the ship has sparked several speculations, including piracy and paranormal activity. Pretty spooky if you ask me. 5. Disappearance of Harold Holt Speaking of people disappearing, this is Harold Holt. He's Australia's 17th Prime Minister, vanished on December 17, 1967, leaving one of the country's most lasting mysteries. Holt went missing while swimming at Chiviat Beach in Melbourne. His body was never located, despite an exhaustive search including airplanes, naval boats, and divers. The event occurred amid a period of political upheaval, adding to the mystery. Holt opted to swim in the stormy seas of the ocean on that tragic day, and he was last seen by friends on the beach. His disappearance spurred a major search that lasted days and involved thousands of people. The abrupt and mysterious disappearance of their leader stunned the nation. The official investigation found that Holt had most likely drowned, but rumors and conspiracy theories persisted. Some ideas hypothesized that he engineered his own disappearance, while others suspected that he was involved with a foreign power. Whatever he was, not only was he a prime minister, 
but a potential student for Houdini with that disappearance act. 4. Kentucky Meat Shower Everyone knows that KFC is from Kentucky, but other than 11 secret spices, did you know it literally rained meat once there too? A phenomena evocative to Cloudy with a chance of meatballs became a reality in the unusual episode known as the Kentucky Meat Shower of 1876. Residents of Bath County, Kentucky, were shocked in March 1876 when fresh meat appeared to shower down from the sky. Mrs. Crouch, a nearby farmer's wife, stated that meat dropped from the sky between 11 and 12 p.m. The meat rain lasted a few minutes, with flesh chunks varied in size and description. From little lumps to three-inch slabs, curiosity spread, and neighbors were drawn to the unique spectacle. Meat was strewn throughout a 100-meter long and 50-meter wide area, covering fences, houses, and the ground. The identity of the meat was debated. Some thought it was beef, while others thought it was bear or venison. To resolve the disagreement, brave people tried the meat and gave their thoughts. Samples were submitted to scientists and chemists for investigation, with ideas ranging from meteor showers to the flesh of finely honed individuals trapped in a whirlwind. A more reasonable hypothesis stated that the shower was generated by vultures vomiting after feeding. Imagine if this was a very convoluted KFC marketing stunt. Wouldn't that be insane? 3. The Dancing Plague Time for a little happy feet on this one. The Dancing Plague of 1518 was a perplexing occurrence in Strasbourg, Alsace. In July 1518, a lady named Fra Trophy began impulsively dancing in the streets, and within a month, 400 people had joined her in a wild dance that lasted for weeks. This strange phenomena lasted almost a month, with some people dancing until they fell from weariness or even passed away. The government sought to ameliorate the situation by establishing music and dancing halls, but the situation quickly deteriorated. The origins of this widespread hysteria are unknown, with suggestions ranging from psychological stress to religious zeal. Was the beat really good back then that people would dance themselves to the grave? 2. Dyatlov Pass Incident This next clip is about some nuclear horror type of business. The Dyatlov Pass Incident, which happened in Russia's Ural Mountains in February 1959, has baffled investigators for decades. A group of nine seasoned hikers went off on a journey and were discovered lifeless in mysterious circumstances. Avalanches, military participation, and even otherworldly beliefs have all been proposed as explanations for the tragedy. There's probably something out there that even science might be too scared to recognize. 1. Bermuda Triangle And for our final, we have the very infamous Bermuda Triangle. This area of the North Atlantic Ocean has earned prominence for allegedly causing mysterious ship and aircraft disappearances. Their tent was discovered shredded from the inside, and the bodies of the hikers were discovered spread in the snow, some with serious injuries and clothes with significant quantities of radiation. The hikers passed away as a result of cold and injuries induced by an unknown compelling force. It has piqued the interest of visitors since the early 20th century, being bounded by points in Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. Between 1945 and 1964, several planes and ships went missing in this area. Notable events include the loss of Flight 19 in 1945 and the U.S. Cyclops in 1918. Skeptics ascribe these incidents to navigational mistakes, bad weather, and natural occurrences. While others believe in a supernatural explanation, scientists point out that the Bermuda Triangle does not have much more incidences than other places of the planet, and many mysteries may be explained by rational explanations. Whichever works for it, it's called the Devil's Triangle for a reason. Hopefully, you didn't get lost in all of these mysteries. Tell us which entry creeped you out the most. You think any of these mysteries will ever be fully solved? Tell us in the comments below, we're interested to know. If you want more of our videos, make sure to check out the videos in the cards now. Thanks for watching, and watch out for the abyss.